just having as many Egyptians on set as possible changed everything because it really brought a lot of authenticity to the show. Just let us go, man. That wasn't me! Hi, my name is Hayat. I'm Egyptian and I'm a filmmaker. By complete and sheer coincidence slash a strike of destiny, my mentor Daniel Ziskind introduced me to Mohamed Diab and it was exactly during the time that Diab was looking for someone to work with him on Moon Nights. I spoke to Mohamed and his wife Sarah and I was like, wait, is this what's happening? And they were like, yeah, Alvina can hesis, our heart was feeling it and the rest is history. <laughs> incredible I, I, you would forget how tired you are just because you would show up every day at work and i wouldn't even be able to believe that this was my life like i would drive into the studio and i would just be like i can't believe this is happening and i forget that i only slept five hours the night before mohammed zayab fought really hard to have as many egyptians on the production as possible and that went from heads of departments like the editor ahmed hafiz and the composer hisham nazir um, to obviously a lot of the actors be them the main actors are extras but also to a lot of um, people behind the scenes like the cast assistant Amina Sharnoubi so just having as many Egyptians on set as possible changed everything because it really brought a lot of authenticity to the show and in terms of having a show that's between east and west I mean it was just I think Moon Knight was a beautiful marriage between this comic book that has an, a very deep history um, in the US, in the West, and then, but also comes from a culture like ancient Egyptian culture that has existed for thousands of years. And I think it's really beautiful how the writers um, and the directors and the producers and everyone who works on the show managed to really marry both. And I think it's really exciting looking forward and seeing that this is possible and that we can have stories that are both authentic um, and exciting and new, but also that have a deep history that um, marry East and West. My favorite, I, I was sick um, during our last day on set, so I wasn't able to go. We were shooting in Jordan at the time, and I had a fever, and I um, had like, I was in my hotel room, and I closed all the curtains and everything. And then I woke up because there was a lot of noise outside, and I was kind of like, oh, like I can't believe this, blah, blah, blah. And so I go to the balcony and, uh, and open the curtain, and it turns out the noise was like Oscar and a bunch of the crew playing volleyball in the pool. And I was like, you know what? I, it's fine. I, I don't mind that. I've been woken up by that. Um, but yeah, I think getting to end our shoots in Jordan with everyone all together, especially because we shot during COVID times, so. Um, we were social distancing and everything. It was really beautiful to actually get to spend some quality time all together. Um, I'd say obviously it's more of a disadvantage from the get-go in the sense that it's um, you immediately have way more obstacles you have to go through. But I think I'm really lucky to kind of be starting my career in a time where Hollywood um, is really excited to be um, delving into stories that haven't been told before. So I would say that in 2022, <laughs> it's become an advantage, but that doesn't mean that there isn't, um, that there aren't disadvantages or obstacles that still exist, but there's a lot more room um, or a lot more tools that are given to us to fight them. It's very interesting um, because on the one hand, I want to talk about um, you know my my region, my home country, Egypt, but at the same time, I don't want to be perpetrating the same stereotypes that have been existing for the last um, couple of decades or since cinema has existed. And so it's a very fine line between wanting to bring up the issues that exist in our societies without also perpetrating stereotypes and, and negative portrayals. But it's a challenge that I think is, is very interesting to navigate. What am I working on now? Um, I'm in late development of a short film that I wrote and that I'm directing that I'm really, really excited about. And then I'm associate producing a short musical, which I'm also very excited about. And then um, these are still very much in the works, but I'm hoping to be producing a documentary series about music in the Arab world. And hopefully soon I'll have a couple other projects to talk about. Um, I always hate when I get asked that question because I feel like I'm the one who needs tips. <laughs> 
but I think most importantly is just like if you love something go for it and so if you're really scared of doing something do it because if you love it it will pay off no matter what so I'm so glad that I took um, the risk to kind of leave everything behind and go into film because it's been the best adventure um, I could have imagined. So yeah, trust your instincts and, and things will work out for you.